Hello everybody, my name is Ben Jimenez. I'm a Sweetwater sales engineer, and today we're gonna to take a look at the GNL SB1 Fullerton Deluxe. Beautiful bass. This is an awesome bass. Uh, of course, a nod to the classic Leo Fender designs of yesteryear, but this is, you know, G, uh, GNL, so this is Leo Fender's uh, last hurrah. And actually, up until the very end, he was innovating, trying to make you know, every single part of an instrument better than it was before. So this is no different. Uh, you know, it looks like a simple design, but actually something as simple as the magnetic field design split coil pickup and the saddle lock bridge give you a lot more oomph to this bass. There's a little screw here that actually tightens the saddles and locks them together. And the effect of which is you get a lot more sustain. So this is a very live bass. Even playing it uh, acoustically, unplugged at home, I was surprised by how much volume I was able to get out of it. Uh, so, you know, and that translates. So when you're playing it plugged in, it is actually louder. Feels good. It's very responsive and even just a sympathetic sort of resonance of the bass while I'm playing, whether plugged in or unplugged. Um, it's a very comfortable bass to play, you know. The neck on this is a uh, 1 and 5 eighths nut, and actually, uh, you know, it's not unlike some of the other basses that Leo Fender designed, but there's just something so confidence-inducing about this bass. Uh, it just feels sturdy, feels well, very well put together. So, you know, it's just a delight to play, really. Um, ultralight tuners, uh, this is just an awesome bass. So, you know, it's got one pickup, volume, tone. What else do you need, right? So let's go through some of the sounds. So we have round ones on this. Let's do some volume, tone, all the way up. Let's just get some sounds out of it. Being that this is a one pickup bass, you might think you only get a couple sounds out of it, but your hand placement on an instrument like this is imperative, like this is super important. So it's only got one pickup, but how you finesse and touch the instrument actually has a great deal to do with how it sounds. So I'm gonna move from right over the pickup to just in front of the pickup, you know, a la James Jamerson, when they had covers on them, you had to move your hand to the back of the front. So we get the sounds. So let's try that now. Still volume tone, rolled all the way up. Instantly beefier, more dubby tone. If I had a foam mute right now, I'd stick it in there and just keep chugging along. It sounds awesome. Uh, on the contrary, like if I move it back towards the bridge, uh, not only does it sound different, but since I'm closer to the bridge, the strings are more taut. So it actually affects my playing style quite a bit. So let's see what that sounds like. You notice I did a couple runs there. It, it just feels better. It's more responsive. It feels tighter. So, you know, I can do a little bit faster runs and sweeps like that just because it, it just feels nice to do it that way. I'm going to roll the tone back just a bit. We'll get more of like an R&B tone. And uh, I'm going to just stick right in the middle position, just right over the pickup. That sounds awesome. I can't do a demo without doing some slap tones. So let's try that. I'm gonna turn everything all the way back up and we'll see what that sounds like. Uh, 
this is an awesome base. If you have questions about this base, any other GNL products, contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks for watching and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And click here for more content and videos like this. Or start at Sweetwater for all your musical instrument and pro audio needs.